I am currently at the Ayala Center. This mall is, well, this is the Ayala Center, and it's just a huge mall. It's very nice. A lot of stores on the sides. You can be outside. Uh, you can go inside. So it's just a huge complex, but I really wanted to take a quick video of just this this outside area because it reminds me a lot of uh, the Greenbelt malls in Makati. Greenbelt 1, Greenbelt 2, Greenbelt 3, Greenbelt 4, Greenbelt 5. It's just like, well, it's really, it, it has the feel of just one of them, but you have all the uh, consistent themes of pretty much that, that, same, that, that same series of malls. And the Ayala, Ayala, I believe Ayala owns both the green the green belt malls and of course this one um, yeah you you'll see real estate being sold uh, these the escalators are here it's just it's just very nice and very natural to say the least it just passed a smoking ban so there is literally no smoking anywhere here we're actually on our way to the smoking area which is on the fourth floor behind the chapel. We're on the third floor right now. Um, yeah, we're just walking up. I'm just gonna take you on a little trip with us as we go to the smoking area. And I just figured that this would be cool to show. You know, we got kids over here on the grounds. Literally, this is just the park area as well. So it's a awesome place to just hang out. My girlfriend just getting ready to hit the smoking area. Yes. The smoking ban has been in effect. Uh, I want to say like a week. Yeah. Like a week. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, like, um, it's pretty amazing. July twenty third. July twenty third. It started. I mean, this is pretty amazing that they have this. Uh, smoking ban I mean if you were here anytime prior to July 23rd you would see that there was there was a lot of smoking pretty much everywhere everyone was just constantly smoking there were just certain sections that had no smoking allowed like that a sign like that you wouldn't be able to smoke in that particular area but I mean, I've seen, I've seen a lot of people smoking in the Philippines. It's a very uh, common thing. This is a social cafe and bar. It's nice. Eat outside. Lots of places to eat here. This, I mean, we come to the mall pretty much. Anytime that we're hungry, this is where we come. We come to the mall. It's very nice. I mean, you have, you have lots and lots of choices. Whether you prefer a uh, Western meals, uh, Filipino meals, or other, well, anything, pretty much, it's all here. I mean, I just came from uh, Bonchon, which is oh, my, my absolute favorite. My girlfriend came from Chow King. I got some, uh, some, ooh, some real natural juice, uh, sh fr freshly pressed sugar cane. Man, it just amazing. With some, uh, and then you get to choose a flavor. I chose, I chose lemon. I mean, I have, I have a video on my YouTube channel as they were making it. I mean, it would, see Chinese food, New York style pizza. They have a, uh, a lot of different ice cream shops like Cold Stone and others. I'm not sure what this this area is, but we're we're coming close to the smoking area. All right. And pretty much it's just a one one small area to where everyone's coming to smoke. Uh, that smoking bad. 
the, the hotel that we are in in particular doesn't have a smoking area so and then you can't smoke in front of the hotel you can't really smoke in front of any business and the businesses are pretty much occupied there i mean they're occupying the whole block so pretty much you can't smoke on on any of the streets you have to find uh, an area that's that's specifically designated for smoking one of our hotels had such a smoking area like in like the parking lot it was like a <laughs> Yeah, it looked like a, I can't even describe it at the moment. But this is Ariel Penn signing off. Adios. Check out this sign.